Lust is great energy. Keep it inside. Go for yourself. Don't try to kill that energy. Redirect it in the right direction. You have to burst into the next dimension. This is a big difference that you see in the understanding of life between East and West East. West has always talked about release. Everything, you must release it. Your psychological situations, you must find release either in somebody or something. But the Eastern way of mind is always, don't release, whether it's your anger or your hatred or your lust, whatever, keep it inside, cook yourself. If you don't allow it any release, it will shoot up. This is your case. Don't allow it to release anywhere. Plug all the holes. If you plug all the holes, it will only go up. So this is the way of Tantra. This is where these philosophies are totally diametrical to other ways. What they are saying is, Whatever you may do, whether you get angry, or you lustful, or hatred, it's tremendous energy, isn't it? Anger is great energy, isn't it? Hatred is great energy, lust is great energy. All you have to learn is not to kill the energy, not to release the energy, just to transform the energy a little bit. A man who is even incapable of anger, Definitely he'll be incapable of love also. Definitely he'll be incapable of any great compassion. If energy is bursting in the form of anger, lust or hatred, don't try to kill that energy. All you have to do is transform it, redirect it in the right direction. Because who you are is energy. What you call as life is energy. Whatever that you are referring to as the divine is also energy. All you have to do is just find it the right kind of pathway. You accumulate enough energy where it can be so threatening that it threatens your life. It becomes so powerful within you that it threatens your very life. Unless energy is that powerful, it will not get anywhere, it will not carry you far enough. I am talking about this because so many of you have gone through these phases and when it gets too much, you are looking for releases. Many times situations have come up within you that you can't bear it anymore. Then you go and find a release. You want to read a book, you want to switch on the television or you want to distract yourself. You want to break, break the practice for a few days for some reason. You do these things because it's a release. You're finding a release for yourself. It feels good. But if you go on releasing like this, you will never have the necessary energy to burst into a different dimension. You are not going to walk into the next dimension. You have to burst into the next dimension. So if you want to burst, first thing you must bloat to a bursting point. When you blow sufficiently, we'll break you. <laughs> <clears throat> so the practices that you're doing, all the methods that we have used, is mainly to increase the energy levels in such a way that gradually it finds its way. If you allow it to find its way naturally, it may take a long time and because you will not know where you are finding releases for it. You may never know whether it's going somewhere or not going somewhere. So there is always a guidance to lead it on. So your business is just to raise your energy. Where it goes, you don't worry. Once you have a guru in your life, he takes care as to where it should go. But it's your business to pump it up. If you don't kick up enough energy, then nothing can be done about it.